So have you guys ever seen videos floating around the internet of people dumping nasty used engine oil into their fuel tank? But it begs the question, is this really possible? Can I actually take my nasty used engine oil that I have laying around the house and just dump it right into my fuel tank? In today's video, I'm gonna explain that very simple thing. And for some of you guys wondering if you guys can do this in your newer diesel trucks, I'm gonna explain that as well. A lot of your newer diesels have electronic high pressure fueling with your CP3s and your CP4s. Can I actually dump nasty engine oil into my fuel tank and run it through that as well? So I'll explain that. Let's just say we get set back to the 1800s. We have rolling blackouts, the economy tanks, and there's absolutely no way we can get fuel. I'm going to have to put a snow plow on the Dodge Cummins and run over zombies. If there's no way of actually getting diesel fuel and me using alternative fuels, can I do that? So I'm going to answer that question in this video today as well. But before we get started, definitely hit the subscribe button and also hit that like button for me so we can share this awesome informative content. I do a lot of truck builds. I also do a lot of informative videos to help out the diesel community. But with that being said, let's get started. Now, if you guys don't know, diesel fuel is also called diesel oil. But with diesel engines, it's a type of internal combustion engine in which fuel ignition takes place without a spark as a result of compression of the inlet air and then injection of fuel. Therefore, diesel fuel needs good compression ignition characteristics. The majority of diesel engines typically ran on cheap fuel oils. Now, if you haven't seen my previous video, definitely check it out. It's about how diesel engines can run away. But the overall gist of that video is the fact that if any sort of engine oil gets past the turbo seals, it can essentially use that engine oil as fuel itself. It can also run off the engine oil vapors, basically anything that's oil. So with that being said, diesel fuel in itself is actually oil. But it begs the question, what can a diesel engine run on? Kerosene, used oil, vegetable oil, and gasoline. Now as stated before, with the unpredictability of the fuel market and the rising cost of diesel fuel, people have been experimenting with alternate fuels in diesel engines for many years now. So your diesel is surprisingly versatile. So before you drop anything into your tank, you have to stay with me on this. But let's just dive right into this. Can a diesel engine run on motor oil? And the answer to this question is 100% absolutely yes. But it begs the question, can I use this in my modern day diesel engine? For example, my diesel truck is a 2018 GMC Denali with a 6.6 liter Duramax. But the fact that the truck is a lot more higher pressured than, for example, this 24 valve Cummins that I have behind me. It actually has a P-pump, it's got a 12 valve P-pump. As a matter of fact, I have a lever that I pull in order to turn the fuel on and turn the fuel off. So everything in this truck is mechanical. So I would say if you have a newer diesel truck, for example, an 01 or newer, no matter what brand it is, Chevy, Dodge, or Ford, do not put engine oil into your fuel tank. You're gonna destroy it. Now, I'm sure it's possible. It'll probably run for you and work fine, but eventually it's gonna destroy the injection pump, your injectors, and everything that goes along with the fuel system. As a matter of fact, if you guys have a diesel particulate filter, I would stay away from it. Don't ever try this, guys. Don't attempt this. But the lucky few that's watching this video, if you have an older Cummins, maybe an older Power Stroke 7.3, an old cat motor, maybe an old 6.2 liter diesel, you guys get my drift. Basically anything that is mechanically fuel injected versus common railed. But when you guys are using this in your engine, the difference in temperature increases the intensity of the formation of soot and reduces its burnout rate. Now let's talk about some of those videos that we're seeing here on the internet of people dumping used engine oil into their fuel tank. Basically what a lot of guys do is they take their used engine oil, transmission fluid, they mix it all in, or even gear oil, and they dump it into a screen uh, just to filter everything out. Of course, you want to get all the dirt molecules and the wear metals out of that engine oil, but they'll separate it with a micron filter into maybe a bucket. And once they do that, they'll just straight dump it into their fuel tank. Now, can you actually use that motor oil, dump it back in your fuel tank and use it as fuel without diluting it? You probably could, but it's going to be extremely hard to start, especially in the cold. But what a lot of guys do is they'll use maybe a 50-50 mixture where they'll dilute it. So basically, they'll have 50% motor oil and then 50% diesel fuel and they'll just mix it all in together. And after reading a lot of reviews on this topic and watching a ton of videos and talking to others about this whole situation, surprisingly, it actually works out for most people. But what are some of the downsides to this? Now, the no-brainer on this is that you're saving a ton of money on fuel costs, but if you don't do this correctly, the engine will definitely lose power and the fuel consumption will increase. Also, a lot of people will talk about how it will smoke excessively at idle, but of course, once you get your engine up to temperature and you're driving it around, it shouldn't be a problem. I also wanted to talk really quickly about can a diesel engine run on gasoline? Of course, a diesel engine cannot run on on clean gasoline, but it can run on diesel mixed with gasoline. But the main thing is that the amount of gasoline does not exceed one tenth of the total volume of fuel. If the proportion increases, the engine will lose power and eventually it'll stop working altogether. So let's just say you're at the pump, you take the gasoline nozzle, you put it in your fuel tank, you start pumping and you realize, oh no, this is gasoline. 
you're about a gallon. As a matter of fact, let me know in the comments if this has happened to you. But let's just say you pumped about a gallon of gasoline into your fuel tank. But if this happens, you can simply fill the tank with diesel fuel without any major consequences. Now, of course, if you pump more gasoline into your fuel tank, yeah, go ahead and just get it towed to your house or towed to the next shop and have them just drain the fuel tank before it actually hits your injection system because that'd be a bad deal. But believe it or not, there's a lot of guys out there that will recycle the old gasoline, especially from junkyards. They'll pay like a buck a gallon and they'll refine it by using a mixture between gasoline, diesel fuel, and oils. Now some have said that you might still see a reduced engine power, more noise, or a warning light from the emission system that is detecting something other than diesel exhaust. And while we're on this topic of using other fuels, can a diesel engine run on kerosene? And the answer to that of course is yes, but Hear me out guys. The fact is that until recently when diesels with low sulfur content appeared on the markets, all its other varieties came from one source, and of course that's refineries. Heating oil or kerosene burns well in any diesel engine, but in many countries it is forbidden to use it in vehicles that drive on public roads. A matter of vehicle tax, of course. In addition to the red coloring additives, the compensation of the heating oil is almost identical to diesel, which was produced before the appearance of diesel with low sulfur content. In the United States, Canada, the UK, and some other countries, the use of colored, non-taxable fuel in moving vehicles on roads is actually illegal. I have read that when kerosene is burned, it emits more heat than diesel fuel, which also means that it's dangerous for fuel pumps. But if it's absolutely necessary, you guys want to use kerosene as diesel fuel, it's probably safer to mix the kerosene with diesel fuel in a ratio of one to four which in turn should not cause engine wear. Of course, you guys can use all kinds of different variants of fuel for your diesel engine, but it's gotta be older. It's gotta be an older engine. I've heard of people that have transformed their modern diesel engines into burning vegetable oil, use fry oil from like fast foods, but of course you have to do a lot of modifications for that to work. Also another disadvantage to using motor oil in your fuel is the fact that you're gonna clog up your fuel filters. Now, this is really cool. This is an air dog lift pump and it does have a water separator. So I talked about if you were to filter out some of the dirt and some of the wear metals out of the oil and then put it in your fuel to burn it, uh, it's not gonna filter out the water. So this is a really good option right here. But if you guys were to outweigh the cost, you're gonna have to replace these a lot more than 10 to 15,000 miles. You're probably gonna wanna go ahead and replace these every oil change. And that goes with your stock fuel filter as well. I do sell diesel lift pumps on the website for Duramax, Power Stroke, and Cummins if you guys are interested. Would I personally run used motor oil in my Dodge Cummins as a alternative fuel? Of course, everyone's different, but I would probably say no. I'll just stick with regular diesel fuel. But if, let's just say we were in a pinch, the market completely crashed, it set us back to the 1800s, I needed some sort of other way of transportation, I would probably say yes. I would definitely Mad Max the Cummins and fight zombies with it, absolutely, man. Because all you gotta do is just drain motor oil from other vehicles that are just sitting around and then just filter it out somehow. If I absolutely had to, I would definitely do it. But guys, let me know in the comments if you would. Also, do me a solid and leave in the comments below if you guys have an older diesel truck, will you ever get rid of it? I'd love to know that because right now they're actually pretty heavily sought after. And also, for some of the experts out there that are actually doing this day to day, recycling some of this older fuel and putting it in their fuel tank, let us know in the comments, how is this working out for you? I wanna keep the comments section as an open dialogue. But thank you guys so much for watching. That is it for this video today. We'll see you on the next one. Stay tuned.